Welcome back to ABC 15 Mornings. You know, with Powerball fever at a fever pitch, really, uh, we had to ask uh, Robert Hawkinsmith, uh, CPA, to stick around so that we could ask him what the do's and don'ts are if you were to win. Uh, ABC now saying it's probably going to go north of 650 right. million bucks. Right. So, all right, you're the CPA. You're the man in charge of the money. All right. What do I do if I win? First thing you want to do, Chris, is you want to contact an accountant and an attorney. Okay. Before you tell anybody, go see an accountant and an attorney. That's the very first thing you want to do. Because and, they can give you some advice on how to cut your taxes down. And taxes, this is oh. going to be heartbreaking. Oh. Uh, while you're living the dream of winning $600 million, talk about the taxes. What am I facing? Well, unfortunately, we are now in 2013 yep. for tax purposes. Last year, the top tax bracket was 35%. Okay. This year, it went up to 39.6% plus an extra 3.8%, as you can see right Let's here. Let's go to the whiteboard. If you earn, if you have investment income over a certain amount of money. So right. that means that you're looking at about 43.4% tax from the federal government. <laughs> then you've got Arizona at 5% tax for a whopping 48.4% oh tax. Oh my God, half, half, right there, immediately gone. So the government's hoping that somebody wins tonight. So there was something else interesting. Uh, the vast, vast majority of us are going to lose. We're not going to win. Right. But you say hold on to the losing tickets hold as well. On. Hold Why? on to the losing tickets. You know, people play the lottery pretty regularly. They yeah. go out and play Keno. They do the scratchers and so forth. Yeah. Oftentimes, people will throw those tickets away when they lose. Sure. What happens if later on during the year, you actually win something? Well, you're allowed to write off your losses against your winnings. And if you've thrown them away, how do you prove what you've lost? So, so if I win, I don't know, if I spend a thousand bucks, let's just say, right. uh, spend a thousand dollars on on lottery tickets over the course of a year, and in that same calendar year, I, w I hit uh, a victory for three thousand dollars. Right, right. I can then write off the one thousand dollars in that losses. You lost. That's right. It cuts your taxes immediately. You just save three hundred dollars in taxes automatically. All right, we got about a minute left here, Robert. What okay. do I need to do about the uh, charitable and the trust here? A couple of ideas okay. on how to cut your taxes down. If we win, down. yes. If, yeah, when you win, <laughs> yes. You want to cut there we your go. Taxes down. Create a partnership. Frequently we do this, we buy these tickets as a family member or as a group in, at work. So you create a partnership and that helps you know, s share the income around which mm -hmm. reduces the tax because everybody's going to be at a different tax bracket. Sure. So that's one idea. Okay. Another idea is called a charitable trust, charitable remainder trust. You're allowed to say, okay, I won $600 million, I'm giving away $300 million mm -hmm. to a charity. Now, I get to live on the income from that $300 million while I'm alive, and you get a tax deduction for that $300 million immediately because you gave it away to charity. See, that's why when you win, you need to find a CPA. That's it. Most important, and, a, and an attorney just to protect yourself. Yes. You'll yes. probably end up having a team, attorneys with, a team of attorneys with $600 million. Robert Hawkinsmith, thank you so much, Chris. my friend. What's your website? azmoneyguy.com. Got it. Yes. azmoneyguy.com. You're watching ABC 15 Mornings. Good luck uh, to all you Powerball players out there. there you